second while I load up the next one. Okay, I'm gonna change. There you go. Okay, hey, thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Max, uh, and let's talk about interactive UI tests on Wayland. Uh, first, some background. Uh, interactive UI tests uses the functions defined in the UI controls header to generate mouse and keyboard events. Um, but on Wayland, it's uh, prevented that clients generate events themselves. Um, but Wayland does allow protocol extensions. And so the Western compositor created the Western test extension for their internal test suite, which allows clients to request the compositor to generate events for them. And Chromium tweaked this a bit and then reused it. But there are some problems with this uh, because it was created for a completely different purpose. So it maps quite poorly to the UI control semantics. And also the, uh, the implementation uses run loops, which can interfere with the DND implementation uh, and cause deadlocks. And in practice, this meant that a lot of tests were failing or flaky on platforms that were using Wayland. Uh, many of them DND related, for example, most of the tab dragging tests, and we had to disable a lot of tests, which is bad, of course. Uh, so we wanted to fix this by designing our own custom protocol extension, uh, which has a very creative name, as you can see. Um, the intention is that it has almost the same semantics as all the functions in the UI controls header. Uh, and to achieve this, we have one protocol request per function in the header plus an additional request processed event that the compositor can send back to the client to tell it that it has finished processing the, re the request. Uh, and this needs no run loops in its implementation, which is very nice. Uh, and it works quite well already. Um, together with some other changes, we were able to reduce the number of disabled tests significantly, as you can see here. Um, but there are still some problems that need to be fixed. Uh, we are already working on fixing a race condition that is still causing problems with drag and drop tests on lacrosse. And on Linux, uh, we had to find a way to resize and move the browser because the tab dragging tests were relying on that. But as you can see, it's already crossed out because just two weeks ago, we merged a working solution for this. Uh, let's see if we can get this to work. Yeah, uh, the basic idea is to just simulate the same interactions that a regular user would do to move and resize the browser. And it works quite well, as you can see. If you want some additional context, here are some links. And that's it for me. Thanks. And thanks to these people for the help.